Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Kite fishing is a really awesome tactic. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a great approach and a great presentation for a variety of different pelagic predators, dolphin, kingfish, wahoo, sailfish, uh, blackfin tuna. We've said it over and over. Having the right tools for the job certainly leans the odds in your favor. We're fishing seven foot chaos composite rods rated for 15 to 30 pound line. Uh, we've got the rod matched to a Daiwa Salty size 50 reel. What's key is that it's a high speed reel, a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio. Really important when you get a bite and you've got to reel up all of that slack. Remember your line is going all the way up to that kite clip and then straight down into the water. You get a bite, you've got to get that line and reel up all of that slack as fast as possible. And that's where that high speed reel comes into play. We've got our reels loaded with fresh 30 pound Mamoy Diamond line. Our rig is pretty simple. We've got a our actual running line tied to a small little snap swivel, but before we tie it off to that snap swivel, there's a couple of key little components that we have to slide up on the line. First is a small ceramic ring. That's actually what's gonna clip right to the release clip on your kite line. This way that release clip doesn't damage or chafe your running line. From there, we've got a small egg sinker. And like I said before, it's all about balance. If you don't have a lot of wind and you're struggling to keep those baits up, you might have to eliminate that weight altogether. If you have a stiff breeze, you can maybe bump that egg sinker up to a quarter, maybe even a half ounce. And that just helps keep that presentation vertical, straight up and down, and it helps keep that bait in the water. But prior to tying the swivel on, we slide a little bead up the line just to protect the knot. Also, you'll see, I like to use these streamers. Okay, Carlos, he prefers the little brightly colored floats. Uh, a lot of guys like those floats. I like the streamers. They're a little bit easier for me to see way out in the distance. Again, it's just a matter of preference, but obviously you need something on the line to indicate exactly where your bait is. May it be the float or the streamer. From there, we've got 10 to 12 feet of 60 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon. Really abrasion resistant completely or nearly invisible, but that doesn't matter very much in this scenario, because again, this leader primarily is gonna be completely out of the water, uh, but we like that stiffness in that fluorocarbon leader. And as I mentioned earlier, during the winter time, big king mackerel, wahoo, these toothy predators are always a possibility. So we always include about an 18 inch trace of 60, 61 pound uh, wire leader. I connect that to my uh, fluorocarbon to my 60 pound fluorocarbon with a small all bright knot, very streamlined, no additional terminal tackle there. And I've got the entire rig finished off with a BMC 80 live bait hook. This is a J hook. If we were specifically targeting sailfish, then we would only be fishing the circle hooks. But we're out here looking for dolphin, kings, wahoo, just about anything. I mean, we're out here meat fishing today. So the J hook is just a perfect scenario. But I'll tell you what, if you spend the time, if you're rigged right, you're gonna catch them.